have another question here about practicing or going to the driving range and using the driver. Now, if you want to go to the driving range, that's your business, I can't stop you. You want to go to the range, fine. But just remember, if you go to the driving range, it doesn't mean you practiced yet today. Because our practice and rehearsal for memory is in the Supreme Golf Swing Training Program has got to be done without the ball. We have to rehearse and train at home in front of the mirror. Remember, there's a reason, and it has to do with learning and memory. If we're not seeing what we're doing, then you got to be careful. Remember, if you do yoga or tai chi or something like that, and those studios are all mirrors. And the reason is obvious. You have to be looking at what you're doing. That's the way you know you're making a mistake or if you're doing it right. And then what also the big benefit to practicing in front of the mirror does is um, you'll have visual recall so that when you're on the, on the golf course and you need to visualize, you know, the fundamental that you're learning, you'll be able to do it if you practice in a mirror. I hope that makes sense to you. If you don't practice in front of a mirror, you're never going to see. It's almost like learning to play a piano. You better listen while you're learning to play the piano. That way you know if you're banging the wrong key. So, you know, Supreme Golf Swing students got to practice at home in a mirror. Now, if you go to the range and you hit a bucket of balls, and I know you want to hit the driver. But, here it comes, when you swing a pitching wedge, what do you never try to do when we're swinging a pitching wedge? You know, normally a golfer never tries to hit the ball hard when they're swinging the pitching wedge. They're taking it easy, and rhythm is important. So if you want to go to the driving range, go ahead. Remember, be alone, I don't want anybody around you, and also have your iPod uh, or Walkman or something, and you're playing slow music some type of meditation music or baroque music slow rhythmic music and you know a small bucket of balls you should have about 20 balls is it and you're going to hit about 19 of them of the 20 with a pitching wedge or a nine iron that way you're not trying to kill it and then if you need to hit one or two with a driver and i mean that's it okay you don't need here's what you want to do you want to put the rhythm of a pitching wedge on the driver, not the other way around. Okay, so I sure hope that helps you, but remember, the range is not where you learn. You learn and memorizing at home in front of the mirror, okay?